When we studied sound waves in chapter 16, we introduced the concept of the Doppler effect. This is a shift in the sound wave frequency that results because the source of the sound, the observer, or both are moving relative to each other. Electromagnetic waves will also exhibit a Doppler effect, but it differs in two major ways from that for sound waves. First, sound waves require a medium, such as air, in which to propagate, and it is the motion of the source, the observer, and the waves themselves relative to this medium that is important. In the Doppler effect for electromagnetic waves, motion relative to a medium plays no role because the waves do not require a medium in which to propagate. They can travel in a vacuum. Second, in the equations for the Doppler effect in section 16.9, the speed of sound plays an important role, and it depends on the reference frame relative to which it is measured. For example, the speed of sound with respect to moving air is different than it is with respect to stationary air. As we will see later in section 28.2, electromagnetic waves behave differently. The speed at which they travel has the same value, whether it is measured relative to a stationary observer or relative to one moving at a constant velocity. For these two reasons, the same Doppler effect arises for electromagnetic waves when either the source or the observer of the waves moves. Only the relative motion of the source and the observer with respect to one another is important. This reduces the number of equations required to analyze Doppler effect problems involving electromagnetic waves as compared to those for sound waves. When an electromagnetic wave, the source, and the observer all travel along the same line in a vacuum, then the observed frequency is given by the following. In this expression, FO is the observed frequency, and FS is the frequency emitted by the source. The symbol VREL stands for the speed of the source and the observer relative to one another, and C is the speed of light in vacuum. The above expression applies only if V relative is very small compared to C, that is, if V rel is much, much less than C. Since V rel is the relative speed of the source and the observer, it is like any speed and has no algebraic sign associated with it to denote the direction. The direction of the relative motion is taken into account by choosing the plus or minus sign in the expression. The plus sign is used when the distance between the source and the observer decreases, and the minus sign is used when the distance between them increases. For example, suppose that the source and the observer are both traveling due east. The source is moving at a speed of 28 meters per second with respect to ground behind the observer that is moving with a speed of 22 meters per second with respect to ground. In the Doppler expression for the observed frequency, V rel is the relative speed between the source and the observer. This is given by the magnitude of the difference in the two speeds, which in this case would be 6 meters per second. Since the faster moving source is behind the observer, the distance between the two is decreasing, so we would need to use the plus sign in this case. The Doppler effect of electromagnetic waves provides a powerful tool for astronomers. By measuring the shift in frequency of the light from distant objects, astronomers can determine if the object is moving toward or away from Earth and what the object's speed is relative to it.